we're back live at the Eye at the Potato Expo. And, you know, we started talking about seeds and how they were planted um, with our last guest. Now I want to shift gears and talk about soil health. With me is Edwin Suarez, a technical agronomist from Midwestern BioAg. Uh, welcome to the Eye. Thank you. My pleasure. So when I talk to farmers, the two things, the three topics that come up mostly is, first of all, overarching sustainability. Then they bring up water and then certainly soil health. And talk to us a bit about soil health, because, you know, the average person doesn't really think about soil health. They think of it as dirt. They don't think of a soil as being a living, breathing organism. Mm -hmm. um, and today, as we're seeing more more produce being grown hydroponically, um, we have this battle uh, yeah. happening in organics where, you know, the true organic farmer is saying, you can't have something that's organic and hydroponic. It has to have soil. Yeah. So it all starts with the ground. Yeah. So talk to us about soil health. Well, to me, the easiest way to kind of put the concept out there, because there are lots of ways of, of tackling this, and, and to me, the easiest way to put it, it's, it's like human health. And usually it's a really hard question when you ask someone if they're healthy or not, because then right. you start comparing it. Am I healthier than someone? Right. But then the easiest way to know if you're healthy or not is when you're sick. So right now, you and I, we can say that we're both healthy because... Right. I mean, we're not sick. And right. the, the importance is there is that it's not that we don't have bugs inside ourselves, bad ones. It's that the good ones beat those guys every day. So when we talk about soil health, it's a similar concept. We need a soil that it's resilient enough to actually fight all the bad bugs and all the bacteria and everything that we usually struggle and the IPM and that's why we have all those chemicals and everything. So we pursue for a soil that is going to be healthier and that is going to produce more. So like us, it's just going to perform better every day. Mm -hmm. Now, how we get there, it includes chemical, physical and biological properties. And, and I guess that's the biggest thing there then. Where do they start? That's what the growers are always right. asking. Where to start, where to go, how, how to go. And at the that. same time, and, and you mentioned chemicals, at the same time, both consumers and farmers want to reduce the use mm -hmm. of, and chemicals is probably too broad of a term, mm -hmm. uh, because there are some organic, some non-organic, and so on. What's that balance that you look for between chemistry, between natural soil health, and so on? I think the important thing there, we. We work in Midwestern Biog as well. We work with a broad spectrum from the organic growers to the conventional ones. And I think what we need is just to grow better crops. So in terms of use, like efficient use of our nutrients, less leaching to uh, that again ends up in rivers and oceans. So that's going to be the first goal. Reactivate our soils, make them more more use efficiency of every nutrient we put out there. So when we talk about what's that that mix with chemicals and non-chemicals, I think it's the same applicable principle for someone that is on the organic side and someone that is conventional, someone that is not using chemicals and someone that is. And when we talk about better crops, we're talking about um, certainly taste, yield, health attributes, you know, a whole spectrum yeah. of attributes. We're not just talking about yield. Yeah, yeah, no, and, and usually that's the thing. This, like you say it, in, in, in your segments about supermarket, I mean, it's a growing section. Everybody is getting more into soil health and it's growing and it's growing and the consumer is the one driving this, but then we need to be smart about what we're looking. It's like us walking in the vitamin aisle section at the supermarket. I mean, there are lots of things, and you can there buy the core and the magnesium thousands and this. And thousands. Or You're you right. can eat properly, and you can right. have a plate that has all the colors of the rainbow. That's right. probably going to give you all the nutrients that you need. In it's a better way. In a better way. So Absolutely. it's the same way with soil. We can go for the very specific things that we think is going to be that silver bullet that, oh, yeah, it's going to help my crop. It's going to make it better. Or we can just manage soil, manage our crop in a better way so that, again, we have a soil that is going to last longer, that is going to produce more. What's the one question, and uh, this is my last question, but what's the le one question that you hear repeatedly from farmers? What are they looking for you to help with? Usually, it's funny because they always say, at, at least in soil health, they, they ask me, like, Edwin, what, what should I do? Should I drink the Kool-Aid or should I dip my toes just a bit yeah. like cold water? And I say both. You should go drink the Kool-Aid, 
mentally in terms of they you got to do your research you got to do your homework you got to talk to the people that knows you got to you got to really prepare yourself but then when it comes to where do i start you just got to dip your toes you got to start one piece at a time one product at a time one line and then measure the roi it's all about the money you talk a lot about yep. that you got to get smarter in how you spend because growers have less money and it's right. a, it's a tough time so that's i think that's the biggest question where do i start how do i start and i think again Mentally, you gotta commit to it, and you gotta say, okay, I want to grow healthier crops, healthier soil. But then, dip your toes when it comes to technologies and ROI. Again, it's it's how much money you're gonna get for every dollar you spend. That's really where it comes to. Edwin, thank you for all your hard work no, and helping you. all of our potato farmers. My pleasure being Appreciate with you, it. and thank you. Okay. Gonna take a quick break, and we'll be right back.